You're listening to the Daft Hour with today's hosts, the wonderful, charismatic, charming, and damn right beautiful artist formerly known as, and then we have Morgan, he's here too. Ah, oh, thank you there um, for that introduction, Brenda. Welcome was there to Show was there a cut? Was there a blatant cut there? No. Oh, it sounded just... like he just went, and my horse, and then he just went blank. For a moment. Oh no, I could hear it. Oh, I hope. Oh. I hope everyone can hear it. We'll see. Oh well. She basically dissed you. Yeah, I thought that. I thought you cut my name out. I thought that no, was no. the diss. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna try that again, and uh, you're gonna hear it. So listen again. We've got to okay. start in the show again, but we're keeping, okay. this, we're keeping this in though. All right. Yeah, obs. Obviously, that's the way we do it. <laughs> You're listening to the Daft Hour with today's hosts, the wonderful, charismatic, charming, and damn right beautiful artist formerly known as, and then we have Morgan, he's here too. See, there you go, she just insulted you at the end. That, maybe you yeah. just didn't choose to hear that. Maybe my ears just automatically turned down the, uh, the insults. <laughs> <laughs> well... You know, Brenda is what Brenda is. We can't. I've, tra I've trained that. my ears to, to not listen out. to insults. Yeah, strange to pop out because promo. Brenda also shares the voice with like uh, Google Maps um, sometimes. So one day you're going to be getting directions and you're not going to listen. Off who direction? Off Brenda. It... Brenda's voice is Google Maps voice. Right. Okay. She uh, she she does that in her spare time. Directs people. Well, it's hard times. We all need money. <laughs> yeah, yep. Especially Brenda, uh, taking over the world is not a cheap. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a cheap task, is it? Exactly. Remember Pinky and the Brain. I do. Uh, the Pinky and the Brain. One they of them's never... genius, and one of them's insane. I think. Yeah, and they never took over the world because they didn't have enough cheese. Is that what it was? Is that what let them down? Cheese. Well, cheese is another slang word for money, is it not? Ah, very Cheddar. clever. But they're yeah, but they're mice, so that doubly works. I've um, I'm disappointed that I never realised that throughout the whole I don't time think that it. was the case. I think I've just made it up. <laughs> it, it sounded convincing. You should have rolled with it. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, welcome to the Daft Hour, everyone. Welcome to the Daft Hour. This is show 16 with me, the artist formerly known as, and, and the aforementioned... me. Me, which is Morgan, Morgan Fantastic. Fantastic. There you go. You How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. You struggle sometimes to remember who you are, don't you? Yeah, I do. Um, it, yeah, it's part of life, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you feeling fantastic today? Um, yeah, I'm feeling all right. I um, I did less physical labour today than I have the rest of the uh, the weekend. Uh, I always feel fantastic when I don't have to do much. When? Where? Yeah. Have you Have you just rested? No, I've I've had an admin day. I've I've, oh, do, I've, I've had admin because you're such yeah. a busy, important fellow. I am. I've Must been doing coursework. I'm admin stuff, but yeah. Oh, is it finishing? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Oh, there that? you go. That was that music. That was, that was lovely. Um. Yeah. So no, I haven't. I haven't stopped really, but it's it's all good. It's all fantastic. It's more than fantastic. Give me an example <laughs> of an admin. How do how do how do you admin? Do you um, do you put on like high heels? Lipstick. Lipstick. Um, I've to, I've got a certain admin lipstick. Do you take your hair down in a sexy way? No, I shave it off <laughs> <laughs> every time. That's why you only every do time. admin once a year. You can't you I can't be done. With I can't. My hair shaving. can't be doing with it. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. So I had an admin day, and you've got to prepare for these things, you know. You got to get the clippers out. Yeah. You got to get your lipstick your best on. makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> you what? Your best, best makeup. Your best makeup, and uh, and put on a nice dress, admin dress. Yeah, admin. Yeah. Everyone's got an admin dress, and if you haven't, you're not doing it right. And my best frilly knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so knickknacks are a crisp. I don't want frilly crisps. And I don't want you to wear them. Oh, it's where I wear them, though. What flavour? Uh, 
rib and spicy. <laughs> oh, no, not scampi and lemon then. No. Nah. No. Nah. You don't no. you don't want to that's, eat that. That's that's only at Easter. Is is that an Easter treat? Most people mm. go out hunting eggs. You go for scampi and lemon knickknacks. Sc- Scampi and lemon knickknacks. Oh, Easter. I love myself some scampi and lemon knickknacks. I it's how them... I remember the resurrection. Scampi <laughs> and lemon. I want them in a sandwich with spread. <laughs> Not butter, spread. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> Have some knickknacks. Scampi and lemon knickknacks. The Lord has risen. Give me some knickknacks. <laughs> Brought to you today from our sponsor, Knickknacks. And religion. And the Lord. And the Lord. Jesus. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Jesus right. Right. Okay. Jesus right. The Jesus Savior right. Lord. Yeah. Jesus right. Jesus right. Is that is that blasphemous? Are we are we blaspheming? No, because I just changed his name. <laughs> okay, could it what about uh, I didn't say anything bad, I just changed his name. But, Maybe do you know I think people should believe in one in what they want to believe in. I'd have no issues with anyone who has religious beliefs. I if believe I want, if Jim... I want to believe that my Lord is called Jesus, right? <laughs> I have, <laughs> then I have the right to do so. I believe in Jimmy Nail and his crocodile shoes. That's what I believe in. Do you pray to them? No, no, I just believe them. I also believe in this pen. You believe he existed? I believe in this pen here that is called... It's from Amused Moose Comedy. I think it was a comedy yeah. competition show that I saw in Edinburgh Festival many cool. moons ago, back when I used to and, go to festivals. And, and you won a pen? No, no, I think I stole it. <laughs> I have no idea how I got it. So I that was a contestant's prize and possibly. you stole it? Uh, I definitely didn't deserve it. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, no, no not at Heck all. no. That Heck pen no. does not belong to me. No. So Give it if, back. Yeah, if any, if the rightful owner is uh, listening yeah. to he- the amused moose comedy pen that I have got. It's red with white text on it. Mm-hmm. The font is probably, I think, aerial black, perhaps, mm. um, if that is, is on your interest. And it is uh, black ink. Mm. So if you want that back... Um, contact us. Contact us. Yeah. In, in all, all ways that you're able to contact. We'll get to that later. We'll yeah, that's a later thing. That's a later thing. Anyway, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, I've been doing some admin. Actually, I've been doing admin. Life admin. You know when you just need to sort your life out? That's yes. the admin I've been doing. Absolutely, um, but what kind of time frame are we talking here? Like, planning your calendar. Yeah. See what... Because you say, I say stuff to a lot of things and I can't remember. Well, you say no, yes I, to things. Yeah, and I need to be... I, I'm not... Like, I need to be organised, and in my new job, I need to be very organised. And um, half the time, I don't know where I'm coming going. So I'd, I'd, I'd have sit down and sorted my calendar out on office. Look at me! Oh, that's yeah. that's a sensible thing. Um, it's a few, a few years ago, like, probably ten years ago. Oh. I'm, I'm very awkward to buy for. I don't like things. Oh. I just, I have no use for things. So people... Tr- struggled to buy me something and my brother once bought me a paper mm. uh, traditional filofax so actually branded mm. filofax an expensive piece of uh, paper that was absolutely no fucking use to me why would he do that why would he do that it's like he didn't know me my own brother he should have slapped him with a filofax <laughs> it was quite hefty you might have hurt him well well That'd show him, wouldn't it? It would. Teach him a lesson. Take your bloody fire effects and shove it under Fac- A for ass. Fa- Fax this, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to be ungrateful, but I definitely was. Yeah, I w- to be honest, that's a shit present. It is. Even if it was still the 80s. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. No. Because I was no. only young. What? Can you fit? Oh, oh that's a... Can you think of other crap presents you've got? Or you just like, why? Did oh you my god! Why? Um, my wife once bought me a <laughs> uh, a pizza oven, and it's not as good as it sounds because it was shit. 
Um, oh. It was a. The, oh, well, the, the, the intentions were good. It man. was. She struggled. Again, everyone struggles to buy me something. She bought me a pizza oven. Like, it was a stone baked pizza oven. Uh, but it it just didn't really heat the pizza. You, you could toast the pizza from the top, but it never heated from, from below. It was, it was crap. But that mm. same year, she also bought me a, a, a peanut butter maker. Mm, or see. a nut butter maker or something. And that mm. was great. The two times it worked before it broke. Right, right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah. Any crap presents you've had? It's hard to think, actually, because I usually get quite decent presents. <laughs> yeah, but you like... I do like, you like stuff. novelty stuff. Yeah, I, I'm I'm into like a lot of geek culture, so yeah, yeah. I'm quite easy to buy for. People either buy me a bottle of Jack Daniels or something related to like Star Wars or Marvel, or I'm I'm quite easy to buy for. Actually, yeah. no, no, there, there's I know plenty of people like that, and that's fine. And I'm, I'm just not one of those. So I had I'm, a, I'm easy. I'm also grateful for when I get bought. Pants and socks at Christmas. Ah, uh, so you no. Know, as a kid, I hated that because that's what my mum was for to buy that kind of stuff. But as an adult, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, nice one." Thank well, you. Well, that, that's just the thing. I haven't the last two years because um, grandparents have deceased and whatnot. Um, I, I haven't been getting pants and socks. And were, were oh, they God, the providers of pants and socks? They usually are. You buy stuff like that, don't they? Um, but also like family and but the last few years for whatever reason i just haven't been given pants and socks and i blame it on covid <laughs> there's a shortage of pants and socks if there's one thing that covid's really pissed me off about is the lack of pants and socks i got bought <laughs> yeah so <laughs> last week actually i actually had to go buy boxes and socks because i was realized i was running short um and the ones i had were a bit frayed yeah i was like oh, i should invest and it really irritated me that I had to spend my money on yep. underwear. Not cheap, is it? No, it's not. Even if you go to one of the cheap places like Primani, the bloke's yeah. underwear is about four times more expensive than the women's. I know. And it really annoyed me. Just buy I'm... women's, it's fine. It's like, I shouldn't have to be buying this. This should be bought for <laughs> me. <laughs> this is something someone else should provide. No questions asked. You yeah. should just turn up with a fresh pair of boxer shorts Every single morning. Every single, every single. Just yeah, I'm a simple man. I yeah. just want underwear. Just, just underwear. I you just might... want to be covered in the genital reason region. In the, not the reasons. I'd like to be covered in genital reasons, please. <laughs> yep, yeah, writing that down. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, a lot. I tell thing. you what, sometimes my uh, mispronouncing stuff gives great names for the show. It does, but what what's really amusing is you've told me what you're about to do after this. Which is record some pieces for possible. Oh, should voiceover. we talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I d I'm not holding out much hope for you. <laughs> it's, it might take a few takes, put it that way. So, so yeah. do you have to provide a, a recording then? Yeah. So basically, what happened is, artist, um, I, as I am an actor, mm, actor, and I'm looking for some extra fundage at the moment because times are hard, guys. Times are hard. We're all looking for a bit of extra cash. Um, I've signed up for this uh, website where basically actors can provide voice work, which is something, to be honest, that I've wanted to get into for a while. Um, and I just happened to find a website, signed myself up, was accepted. Um, and now I've been getting sent auditions, so I have to uh, send off these sample scripts so i'm going to record them today after the show it's part of my admin day it was in my to-do list Brilliant. so i'm going to give you an example of one of the scripts i might get sued for this i wouldn't have thought so nah they're not going to hear you either. No. um so anyway this is a sample script so it's some company who are looking for a voiceover now as people who are listening to this show and as you can uh attest to as well i have a distinctive voice sometimes it's very high pitched sometimes <laughs> it's slightly annoying um no no i'll correct you all times it's slightly <laughs> annoying. <laughs> but i do I, I have a distinctive voice uh some people say it's charlie desk and they like him so you know oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It, to, to be honest my voice fluctuates in what mood i, I am sometimes if i'm in a bad mood quite deep but when i'm hyper and very in the higher moods it's dogs can hear so anyway <laughs> sample script so i'll do it professionally yeah let's do it, do it as you're gonna do it as though this was a live audition in front okay. of the client 
Okay. Okay, I'm the client. I'm looking at you. And okay. go. Darwinium was built to shift the balance back in favour of businesses, putting the power of team at the heart of digital risk, helping you better protect your customers. Okay, okay. What's the product? I don't fucking know, Darwinium. I don't know. What's Darwinium? Darwinium. Okay, uh, let's guess. So Darwin was all about evolution. So Darwinium... Yeah, so it's an evolution of businesses. Ooh, maybe. Some business thing? Biz business. Business. Give your business a boost. Business boost. Business boost with Darwinium and Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> right, brilliant. We've got some... Uh, adverts to do for an old radio station we used to work for we'll get we'll get yeah. on that to be fair if you want a load of adverts all you have to do is just edit out the radio station name <laughs> which might take some work and you have a load of adverts ready there <laughs> you might have to cipher through them some of them maybe not so pg anymore but um yeah what did you think of my audition yeah um i would i would ask you to as the company i would expect you to know a little bit about uh the company so no, you, I'm not you, asked that. I nah, literally just send off my script. You failed. They're not right? going to ask me quit. Failed. Right. Well, less of that. Just focus on the voice. Part. Okay, okay. Do it again. I'll close my eyes this time. <clears throat> Darwinium was built to shift the balance back in favour of businesses, putting the power of team at the heart of digital risk, helping you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, take one. All right, take two. Close your eyes. Right, closed. Darwinium was built to shift the balance back in favour of businesses, putting the power of team at the heart of digital risk, helping you better protect your customers. I'll buy seven, please. Oh, genuinely, what do you think? I need some criticism. Do I need to do it in a different tone? Is there anything I need to emphasise on? Give me some so, feedback, Bambi! So, uh, pronunciation is not my friend. I, I'm no. not very good at pronunciating, unlike Elvis. So I think uh, what I'm picking up on yours is the B's in there get a little muddied. Do I say D's instead? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you said qualm. I don't know. I don't know what that yeah. is. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. so try, try a bit of B's. B, 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 B. Without... B, 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 B. <laughs> bit deeper than that. Not quite beep, like... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Somewhere beep, in beep. between, perhaps. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 okay. beep, Darwinium was built. Yes. Built. Yes, there you go. To shift the balance back <laughs> in favour of businesses. Putting the power of team at heart of digital risk. Helping you better protect your customers. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolute winner. Keep with the bees. I feel like Stephen Toast. Have you ever watched Toast Alone? I have. <laughs> Club Fandango! Very funny show. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, what were you asking me? Or what have I been doing? Yeah, what oh, have you been I... up to? <laughs> uh, I finished Breaking Bad. Ooh, I've just started... Well, no, I'm in, in season four of uh, Better Call Saul now. Yeah, I'm good. that's going to be my next one. But, yeah, I've just... After all these years, I've finally watched... Breaking bad. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Did you say finished you finished it? it? Yeah, and I've just watched El Camino as well. So I've not seen film. that one yet. So I'm going to doing... give it a watch. It's just like a longer episode, like ah, finale exactly. episode. Yeah. So I'm going to finish Sol, probably go back through Breaking Bad, mm. and then I will do the El Camino. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic, and I don't know why it's took me this long to watch. It was good. It was an overall very good story arc. Season three lost a little bit of interest for some people, but I still enjoyed yeah. it. Ah, and that, the five episode it people particularly disliked. Ah, I thought that was quite funny. Yeah, it was quite funny. Um, yeah. No, yeah. I, I thought it was good. I, I, I very much enjoyed it. I could I'd see where the hype comes from. And then I, at the same time, I was also watching Ozarks, but I've had to stop watching that because I'm getting a bit bored. I only got through season one and well, it didn't interest me enough to pick it back no, up again. No, I know. That's, it's very similar in terms of tone to Breaking Bad, but Breaking Bad's just a bit lighter, a bit, a bit more enjoyable. I didn't know what to make of it at first. I honestly thought it was going to be a bit of a light comedy. It definitely mm. was not. It's not, what, Breaking Bad or Yeah, Ozark? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, it's not a comedy, but it's not as dark. Like, Ozark's very dark and depressing. Um, 
and yeah i got to like halfway through sex and i very rarely do this i usually commit if i'd started watching something i need to finish it yeah um but i got through halfway through second season of o- ozarks and then just give up i was like no more same it was the same with westworld um oh. i got to got to the end of season two and i couldn't watch any more of that it just bored me i've not bothered with westworld so no. um i'm obviously super famous uh because i met uh do you know walt jr hmm. uh i met his mother at a convention not him his real life mother not skylar why was his mother there? He he was there, and she uh, he was busy, and she came round. Um, Is very... he disabled in real life? Yes, um, oh. I think he just exaggerates it uh, for the show a little bit, I oh. believe. Uh, but his mother was so proud of him; she was going around introducing herself and who she was the mother of. Uh, it was quite nice, actually. No, it was, was, it she, was lovely. Would she sign in autographs? <laughs> no, I think she would have if you asked her. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So I'm oh, obviously nice. famous because I've met the mother of someone who was in a series. Claim to fame, you yeah, get clinch, clinch whatever you can get, my yeah. friend. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? I've been chopping down more trees, uh, breaking borrowed tools, going shopping. Sorry. Stuffing. Yep. Breaking borrowed breaking tools. Borrowed. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, going shopping, sniffing gravy, drinking tea, eating tea cakes, scrubbing my nails, fixing chainsaws, swearing at cats, waving at dogs, talking to neighbours, complaining about prices, and pulling up my trousers, which gets me... So, uh, my weight fluctuates at the moment, and I, I need to lose some weight, because I'm sick of being told to pull up my trousers. So that's the only reason, not for health... Not for anything like that. I want to lose some weight so I don't have to keep pulling up my trousers. Is your ass always out? Yeah. I should just maybe not do the gardening. Uh, oh, maybe. Naked. just don't, Yeah, just don't wear trousers. Fuck yeah, me. easier that way, won't it? Yeah, they can't moan about your trousers being down <laughs> if you've got no pull, trousers. Pull up, oh, put, up, put on trousers? Hey, can you put some trousers? I'm in my own garden. Do it, I wouldn't want eh? When I do my garden, it's my domain. It's my business. If I want to sit on a trowel, I'll sit on a trowel. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, just turn it the correct way, I would, I would suggest, <laughs> before you do that. It might be a sharp surprise. No, I like the prongs. Ooh, ooh, cheer. Prong bottom. Prong bottom, sponsored by the Daft, the Daft Hour. Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, that would be weird if we, if our show p- sponsored a product. What product would you well, like? It happens, us? though. What would we be suitable to sponsor? A trowel. Um, a trowel, an upside down <laughs> trowel. A useless <laughs> trowel, actually. A, a, a useless used trowel would yeah. be what we would sponsor. <laughs> and we would only sell it in the middle aisle of not Aldi or Lidl, um, Age UK charity shop. <laughs> they don't have a middle aisle, but they'll create one just for our useless used daft hour trowel. Yeah, daft hour, tr- daft hour trowel. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to anyway. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. Mm. Shall we do we got... the news? Yeah, I was going to say, have we got any news? This is the news. news. Listen to the news. news. Very truthful news. news. Super important news. news. The news. Intro. Ta- Taz and only fans account. <laughs> the opposition is wrong. Queen covered in sauce. Cats are pricks. MP watches tractor porn. <laughs> Martin Lewis, Martin Lewis's newest money-saving trick has bankers scared. And microwave attempts murder. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. What was your first one? Oh, so my first one is Tarzan OnlyFans account. So you've heard of Tarzan. <laughs> you've heard, uh, of Tarzan. heard of Tarzan. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and you've heard of OnlyFans as well. Yeah, I'm, so. I'm going to do one because you, you, not that the listeners can see, but I've got like a green wall behind me, so I'm going to green screen. You really could. That'd be great. Uh. So <laughs> Only OnlyFans is an account, obviously, for people to put whatever content online yeah. and people pay the subscription. For instance, yeah. if I was doing it, it'd be me pulling up my trousers. Yeah. Right, but obviously it's mainly used for porn um, or nude pictures or lewd pictures, yes. anyway. Um, 
And anyway, a couple in where the base, Bristol, I live in Bristol, have started making their own new fans during lockdown and have actually managed to quit their own jobs wow. because they make up to £10,000 a month just posting pictures of them dressed up as Tarzan and Jane in different positions. And <laughs> and it doesn't really necessarily be sexy. It's just Tarzan and Jane, like, at the shops or... The <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just random things. In the middle aisle at age UK, buying a people, troll. And people... People pay money. It's well, honestly, Bambi. I've said this before. We need to get in on this because people will pay for anything. This and the NFTs we need to look into because I feel there's money wasted. It will pass us by, and it'll all be gone by the time we figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it'll be something else. Yeah, it'll be fucking yeah. acorn blips, <laughs> and that'll take us another five years to work that out. <laughs> yeah, what was yours? Uh, the opposition is wrong. The leader of one political party said the leader of the opposite party is wrong. And that thing that they said, the opposition doesn't agree on. That's how it works. It's That's politics. Politics, politics yeah. there you go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Queen's covered in sauce. So, basically, two of the UK's best-known condiments are getting a royal makeover to mark the Queen's platinum jubilee which is this year it took in a couple of months and we get extra time off don't we that's nice um so heinz is releasing limited edition bottles of hm sauce and salad queen oh that's very <laughs> clever i don't mark, really uh, want some hm sauce i'll be honest with you but salad queen is very clever i like that um i could get you some salad queen i know a club <laughs> <laughs> in, yeah in town uh, so yeah, so and I hope they just pour it on her and she relishes in her salad. No, they're queen. not doing relish. Oh no, they're not. Sweet no. salad queen. Yeah. But she can roll around and be a salad queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Young and free, only salad queen. Yeah. Very good. Uh, cats are pricks. Oh, One of my cats to, insists well. that I need to be up at 5am. This isn't newsworthy, but I just needed to it share is. it with you. I need, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bastard. But the worst thing about that little bastard getting me at 5am, you can't say angry at him because he wants cuddles. Oh, bless him. Yeah, and he doesn't even want food. He just wants you to go down to the food bowl and make sure it's, it exists. It's st The bowl's still there, don't worry. Yeah, and um, yeah, prick. Oh, he just wants a cuddle. Cuddle prick. God. Does, does he sleep with you on the bed? Uh, no. Or does he, he just he sleep where he wants? Until 5am and then comes and gets me. <laughs> oh, hey, get up. Get up. Is get it up. just you or your missus? And the missus. But you'll, oh. you'll, so what you'll do is you'll jump on you and he'll cuddle in you, which is nice and cute. And then mm. when you're not paying him attention, he'll jump off you onto something else and you'll find whatever thing in that room he can make noise with. Until you get up. <laughs> Little bastard. Little bastard. Little cuddle slut, we call him. <laughs> uh, cuddle slut. Cuddle slut, yeah. I like, yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so a Conservative MP has resigned after he was seen watching pornography in the House of Commons. Amazing. Uh, and has said it was, in fact, he was attempting to watch a video about tractors. Yes. Uh, so, the, Neil... The, the, it exists, doesn't it? Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's true, yeah. So Neil Parrish, the MP for Tiverton and Honiton in Devon, claims he found himself on the porn website accidentally in the first case, but then went back on it a second occasion whilst in Parliament. Yeah, Doyle. Which he described as his biggest crime in a moment of madness. Um, this situation was that, funnily enough, it was tracked as I was looking at, was his quote. <laughs> yeah, what was it he searched for? Dirty, rotten, slutty tractors or something. Yeah, muddy, dirty, muddy. <laughs> Get me in your tracks. Dirty, mudded farmers. Yeah, yeah. farmers' wives yeah. or whatever. But, but if he's clicked on it accidentally before, then fair enough. Then how, how Why go back? I know. opened it? And then, if you know, sometimes if pages are left open, not going to lie, sometimes I watch porn on my phone. What? Yeah. And then accidentally, I've left it open, and then I've opened it up, my phone, and then it's still <laughs> still there. And I've, I've been caught in precarious positions. Brilliant. Uh, um, did I ever tell you the story of the time? I might have done on the show. I'm sure I have. At the time where I accidentally connected to... To the Bluetooth the, speaker. 
the Bluetooth speakers yeah. in the hot tub. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Love it. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, but, but then he's he's opened it again and but then watched it. Yeah. Silly, silly man. Yeah. So Pornhub, uh, a well-known porn website, have put a section in called Tractor as a response. Yeah. Monotonize it, yeah. yeah. Monetize it. Monotonize it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it monotonizing uh, tractor monotonize porn. That tractor porn. Uh, monetize, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, get that tractor money, <laughs> bitch. Uh, spreading your muck everywhere. Okay, so Martin Lewis, newest money-saving trick has bankers scared. The money-saving expert Martin Lewis has suggested that uh, the best way you can make some money is to take it all out of the banking system, take it to a real-life casino, none of this online bullshit, and bet it all on the number 18. Critics suggest Martin has lost his mind, but he said, fuck it, give it a go. Right, is this, is, is, uh, is this good advice? Ah, no. Um, ah. Don't ever just bet on one number. Spread your bet a little bit. Other than that, it's absolutely sound. Take all your life savings. Take Nana's life savings. Take your, your dad's right. life savings, whoever, okay. uh, and it's just go to the casino. Put it all on, I'd say, f- six different numbers. What if you put it half of it on red and half of it on black? Um, you'd be absolutely gutted if it landed on zero. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. But if you did that, would you just you just get you just get your money back? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You you could stay gambling for ages. The thrill of it. Yep. But yeah, so Matt Lewis has lost his fucking mind. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do that if you're listening. No. No. It's not it's not the best, is it? Not in not while times are hard. Maybe if you feel a bit flush in a bit. Was that the news? Uh, Oh no, microwave attempts murder. So a YouTuber has found himself in a bizarre situation after customising his microwave with AI, artificial intelligence, <laughs> so to mimic his childhood imaginary, imaginary friend. So Lucas Risotto's imaginary pal when he was younger was his microwave. With his imaginary name, Risotto. Um, that's his surname, <laughs> Lucas Risotto. <laughs> uh, and he befriended, he befriended this microwave and called him Magnetron. So, unlike normal microwaves, his kitchen appliance had an elaborate backstory that M- Magnetron had fought in World War I. <laughs> um, following the re- release of new natural languages update, um, Risotto decided to bring the vet- vet- veteran microwave back to life. Um, so, yeah, so he brought this back to life. And but basically, the microwave had slight PTSD and... Um, yeah, so the eerie thing was that because his training day include all main interactions, I had one with him as a child. This kitchen appliance knew things about me that no one else in the world did. That's what he was saying. Uh-huh. But um, apparently Magnetron was was very like depressed. And one of his quotes was, for years, this was my life. always surrounded by death, but never claimed by it. Um, another thing he kept repeating was revenge over and over. And then he came out with, roses are red, violets are blue, you're a backstabbing bitch and I will kill you. <laughs> um, so this was at the point when Lucas asked, well, why, I thought we were friends, like, why are you threatening to kill me? <laughs> and he said, I, I want you to, I wanted to hurt you the same way you hurt me. You left me out the blue and didn't talk to me for 15 fucking years. That's what the microwave said to him. So he took that as um, basically um, he took that as I think it's time and he shut him off. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's... So yeah. Well, oh, this was another quote. Sorry, before I end. 15 years ago, we were best friends. We took care of each other. We loved one another. And then one day you just disappeared. You grew up and forgot I existed. For 15 years, I had no one. I was alone. For 15 years, I was in hell. And then he turns him off again, so he's killed him again. That's insane. Well, I've got one, like, that's amazing that that, that kind of happened, but I have a problem with his, his own little fake backstory. The microwave oven wasn't invented in 1940. World War One was well and truly over. No, the microwave didn't think he was a microwave. He no, no, he... he said he had a backstory for it, didn't he? That the microwave fought in World War One. 
No, the microwave thought he was a person who fought in Wilson. Oh, sorry, not a microwave that fought the microwave That would be did. ridiculous, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, we're really low on uh, numbers for soldiers. Right, get the kitchen appliances. Get in there. Right. <laughs> your... I'd like to be behind the oven. Go on, Sergeant. Yeah, more protected. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Amazing. Sergeant Kettle. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was the news. That was the news. You listen to the news. Very truthful news. Super important news. The news. Outro. No. Oh, oh, sorry. Now a word from our sponsors. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. What's for dinner? Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate and scrambled eggs. When your kids are hungry, all you need is Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate and scrambled eggs. Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate scrambled eggs. Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate and scrambled eggs. For every and any busy mother out there, just you. Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate and scrambled eggs. Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate scrambled eggs. Cinnamon beans and hot chocolate and scrambled eggs. Well, I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I, Do you I know what I'm hungry tea, for? Yeah. Hi, honey. Oh, hey, no, it doesn't start quite right. <laughs> the joke is lost. <laughs> uh, you, you were hungry for cinnamon, beans and chocolate, hot chocolate scrambled eggs. I am, absolutely. I'll try that, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got some questions. Okay, one second. Morgan has questions. What's the average length of a velociraptor's tail? Who's the finest of them all? At what age do you start putting sugar on your cornflakes? If you had to be a planet, which one? Come on then, ask me some questions. You've got your own little theme tune now. Do you like oh, it? I fucking love that. <laughs> it's great. All right, Morgan has questions. Come on. Okay, then. so here's some trivia, fun trivia. In Tennessee, it is illegal to drive if you are... A giraffe. What? No. What? Uh, okay. Uh, a balloon? I gave you three chances. All right, a giraffe, a balloon, or a Ferris wheel. No, in Tennessee, it is illegal to drive if you are asleep. Uh, yes, well done, Tennessee. <laughs> My word for um, the most obvious uh, law goes to Tennessee. What's this song? It's one of uh, Plush Girl Ash ones. I can't even remember what one the, the oh, song's called. Oh, I love it. Uh, Washington police get training to do what? Uh, erotic nipple rubbing. No, okay. No. Um, wheelbarrow races with the partners who are very overweight. <laughs> no. No. Uh, they get training to uh, resuscitate donkeys. No, Washington police get training to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, the actual technique of how to sit down or the sitting down activity itself. I didn't research it more than the answer. <laughs> <laughs> In Iran, what is banned as a sign of devil worship? Um, uh, could it be devil worship itself? Good answer, but it's not true. Okay, it, right, what is banned as a sign of devil worship? Is it any music by um, Meatloaf? <laughs> no, no, the answer is in Iran. I, I want more, one more guess. Oh, sorry, apologies, yeah, apologies. Do not cut me off. Sorry, <laughs> I was. Oh, I love that tune. I was dancing with. <laughs> is it? Um, I forgot what the question was. In Iran, it is banned. Uh, what is? Sorry, in Iran, what is banned as a sign of devil worship? Oh, uh, play marbles with your mate Timothy on a Thursday. Good answer, but no sunbeds and spiky hair. <laughs> <laughs> so right i don't know a lot about um devils mm. but i don't get the spiky hair is that because it could resemble the, horns i think they just don't like people from essex ah no fair dues absolutely uh, maybe uh which country has six villages called silly 12 called billy and two called pratt 
Oh. I'll repeat the question. Which country has six villages called Silly, 12 called Billy, and two called Pratt? So it's an English-speaking country. The answer isn't as funny as the question. <laughs> okay, uh, I can't... There's not going to be any funny answers. So I am going... Um... Spain free countries. Australia? Nope. New Zealand? No, I think more Europe. Um... As in, it's in Europe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Denmark. No, it's France. Really? France has six villages called Silly, 12 called Billy, and two called Pratt. <laughs> so, are they in are they in English? That's, what, that's what's thrown me. I don't know. We'll Google it. And do you know what? I think we should do a daft hour field trip. To all, <laughs> let's, let's go see all... Billy and Silly and Pratt. <laughs> Silly, Silly and Billy Pratt. and Pratt. And the last one, in Florida, it's illegal for unmarried women to do what on a Sunday? Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, taking a alligator on a six-mile run with blamange on its back. No. Cut the lawn in high heels. No. Um, not cook for your man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's skydive. Oh, right. Okay. So I, it's illegal I, to skydive for an unmarried woman on a Sunday. I worry about that too. So I'm glad that they've cleared that up. Mm. Maybe it's because if there weren't married, <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that. I was nah. I'm not going to say it. It's fine. <laughs> um, was it going to be sexist? I, I thought probably. about it. It you might not be. I, 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 I think it was leaning towards it, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so I stopped myself. But yeah, that was Morgan has questions. Yeah, Morgan has questions. And now for another word from our sponsors. Baba ba, Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, Baba. You're very kind. Sheep, aren't they wonderful? Yes, they are. They provide us with lamb and wool. And laughter. Lamb, wool and laughter. That's not one of those signs you see, isn't it? You've got, what is it? Lo live, life, love. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> lamb, love and... No, what was it? Lamb... I can't even remember what it said. Lamb, love... And laughter. Lamb, it, wool, lamb, and laughter. Lamb, wool, and laughter. That's, um, I'm pretty sure, the last COVID policy. <laughs> oh, dear me. So, I was just thinking there, the last COVID policy sounds like a cool name for a movie. And it's mm. probably been made on some reality channel or whatever. But um, a girl at work was telling me about, she reads a lot of books and suggested books to her. I don't know if this is indicative of what she reads. Mm. Suggested books were love stories, um, oh. steamy love stories, about a woman who fell in love with COVID. What, the actual act co Yeah, the... Um, oh, they didn't miss a beat there, did they? That book got COVID. published quick. Oh, no, th this was out like a year and a half ago. They really did not miss a beat. Oh, my book about COVID. I'm going to miss the bit. I need to get that sorted. Cause What's yours going to be? It's just about... My, I've told you it's my children's story about the pigeon that came to visit me during COVID. Ah, yes. Jack the Pigeon. Jack the Pigeon. And if I don't get it written now, people probably won't care. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll be like, oh, COVID was so five years ago. Is me. it on your admin list? Morgan. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's on my to-do list. It wasn't on my today list. You should put it on your today list. Mm, I, no, I've got too much. I've got, I've got voice recordings to do. Yeah. Mm. For Darwinium. For Darwinium. Right, we're going to look this up. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no. No, we won't. We c we'll look that up after. What would right. you do, though, if uh, you recorded something and you didn't know what it was particularly for and you got it and your voice was then, like, um, the voice of, I don't know, uh, euthanasia? Mm. <laughs> what would you do? I mean... Would you enjoy that? I wouldn't enjoy it, but it's a job, isn't it? <laughs> a job's a job. Job's a, a job. A book is a book. A book's a book. Yeah, no, like, I wouldn't agree with it, but at the end of the day, like, 
I, I think if I knew beforehand, but afterwards if I got paid, I'd be like, oh, well, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late now. But, yeah. 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 What would your ideal uh, voiceover job be? It'd be something Star Wars, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe like a cartoon or something would be cool, wouldn't it? What character would you be? Would you invent a new character? Would you want a new character? That's not, for, that's not my job to do. I'm just providing the voice. I'm not creating the <laughs> But what, creating if the, the what if the voice was for like a tin of beans? If the tin of beans was a quirky, cool character like me, then I'm all up for it. What if it was a proper boring character? What if it was a toaster? Hey, a job's a job, Bambi, I told you. I'll, take, <laughs> I'll do anything at the moment. I'll do anything. Times is hard. If, Times I'm, if is... I'm a toaster who's all up for euthanasia, fair be it. <laughs> <laughs> euthanasia to Oh, no. We've already had a murdering uh, microwave. And a euthanasia toaster. And a euthanasia toaster. toaster. Mm. What other kitchen appliances could kill? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. All of, um, all of Well, all of them, yeah. Oven. It's prime, isn't it? Yeah. Stick, my, stick your head in me. <laughs> Sorry? What stick your head in me. Uh, no, can you just bake this cake, please, Owen? No, put your head in me now. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want. I want you to bake this. When did you get a voice? Uh, I've always had a voice, but you just keep banging on, breaking your bread, and you don't give me time. Right. Okay. I want to bake this cake. Are you going to okay. do that for me? I'll do it after you've stuck your head in me. But I'll be. I, I'm not. I'm not going to put my head in you. Well, then you're not getting your bread, are you? It's, I don't want bread, I want a cake. Well, you're not getting that either, are you? You're in oven, just do as you're fucking told. Oh, it's always like that, isn't it? Turn me on, turn me off, turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen if, if... There wouldn't be like this big uprising, there'd just be arguments if, we, if all the machines became self-aware. <laughs> there'd be no big Terminator war. It'd yeah. just be one big... Yeah, the dog grow argue. limbs. No. <laughs> just, it's just like, oh, let me kill you. No. No, all right then. Can you? Can I have a cup of tea? No. Do you know? Can you boil water? Bet you can't. Can you? Well, I could with a pan. Yeah, but the oven's not going to do it for you. The <laughs> grill. You're going to have to ask the grill. No. Nah, the oh, the grill is the worst of them all. He pretends to be your friend and then he slags you off to the rest of them. Good corn beef is good corn beef. Okay, so Bambi, I've got a name of the show. Oh, I've got some names of the show. Go on. Um. So these are. These are the suggestions. I've got Salad Queen. Yeah, that's a good one. Prong, prong Bottom. <laughs> yeah. Genital Reasons. Yeah. Cuddle Slut. Yeah. Pronunciation is Not My Friend. Yeah. And Lamb, Wool and Laughter. I quite like Lamb, Wool and Laughter. Yeah, I'm going with that. Okay, so the name of the show is... Lamb, Lamb Wool, and, wool laughter. and Laughter. We'll never get this right. Uh, yeah, clappy clap 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 clap, clap lap, lamb wool and laughter. All right, so uh, let's talk about some socials. Where can the find us, Bambi? They can find us on Broken Glass next to bus stop. So what you do is you find a bus stop that's inevitably got some broken glass. Roll around in it without any clothes on, and all the mm -hmm. bits of glass stuck to your body will send uh, will spell out a message, and a passerby will take a photo, and. Uh, send it to us via carrier pigeon so that's an option that's an option you can also find us at twitter at the daft hour facebook forward slash the daft hour email the daft hour gmail.com youtube the daft hour and all good podcasting platforms you could do one of those things if you wanted to but i think uh only the brave rolling glass yeah whatever whatever you prefer whatever works for you Whatever works for you. Oh, Bambi, I've enjoyed today. Yes, it has been a good show. Yes. Let's say bye to all our friends. Okay. I will play us out with a piece of music as well called You're Going to Die. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, bye, 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 bye. Stay safe. Stay daft. Bye, 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 bye.
ice is melting, the heat is hot. Your hand is trimming, your chubby gut. Your leather belting, the end is time. Look at your brother, look at your style. Look at your reason, the heat is hot. Feel like a mother, feel like a child. Feel like a season, the end is time. Ice was grinning, the heat is shut. Your hand is belting, your chubby knife. Your leather trimming, the end is shut. Look at your reason, look at your height. Look at your brother, the heat is style. Feel like a season, feel like a night. Feel like a mother, the end is child. Time.